Marcus Aurelius says that no place one can go is more peaceful and free from interruptions than one's own soul. Retreat to interrogate your own soul, then return to, to face what awaits you. Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor from 161 AD to 180 AD. Considered the last of the five good emperors of his time, he wrote a series of autobiographical writings known as Meditations In. In it he consistently advocated the pursuit of calm in life, while his Meditations In often emphasized the importance of rising early and doing so most of the day. He also emphasized the importance of taking time to withdraw internally and find peace. Thanks to his records, we have a reasonable idea of what his nightly routine would have been like. In this video, we'll explore 10 different things Marco Elio would have done at night or in the late afternoon, and how we can follow this routine or adapt it to our modern lives. Let's get started. The only thing I ask of you is that you absolutely do not skip this video. If you are here, you consider yourself different than... Most consider yourself an exception. Now act like one and skip any chapter. Number one, eliminate external stimuli. Marcus Aurelius says it is in your power to withdraw into yourself whenever you desire. It is known that Marcus Aurelius used his evenings to disconnect while he is particularly known for his philosophy, advising us to live each day as if it were the last he also believed in. Setting aside time to find retreat within his own mind in order to renew himself, he did this as an effort to free himself from stress or negative feelings, disconnecting from external stimuli and seeking value in introspection. External stimuli are the changes outside the body or the knowledge conveyed to us through the senses. Nowadays, we constantly face external stimuli, especially when interacting with people and technology in order to meet. The superficial demands of our modern society, we overload ourselves and our days have become filled with tasks, commitments, meetings, emails and deadlines. We lose our freedom and peace of mind. And even though we strive to create a balance between work and personal life, it's inevitable that we return home feeling exhausted, overwhelmed and stressed. Our nighttime routine usually involves catching up on social media, watching television or attempting to respond to those last minute emails. We need to reduce the stimuli and declutter our minds. Therefore, your nighttime routine should be the time you dedicate to yourself. This likely means eliminating many of the evening activities you've become accustomed to and replacing them with new ones that will truly help you disconnect and focus on yourself. This means putting your technology to sleep at least half an hour before you go to bed and seeking tranquility. This can be as simple as a guided five-minute meditation, a body scan or a breathing exercise. Mindfulness meditations help calm an overactive mind and tune into your physical body. This type of meditation can be a retreat within ourselves and the impact of incorporating it into your nighttime routine can be incredibly beneficial. Meditation is known to reduce anxiety, improve mood and also significantly enhance sleep. Your bedtime routine should be a pause from the busy world and a retreat to your peaceful self while indulging in TV show, marathons, playing video games, hanging out with friends or scrolling through social media might seem like a personal break. These activities don't actually help you achieve tranquility. In fact, they distract you from finding it. And while sleep is important, it often isn't enough to restore you after a hectic day. A truly relaxed nighttime routine needs to involve something that allows your mind to switch off. Number two, engage in physical exercise. Marcus Aurelius tells us that it is a shame for a man to grow old in without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. Although Marcus Aurelius in almost living 2000 years ago he understood the importance of exercise. Physicists believed that a healthy mind cannot exist without a healthy body. 
The Stoics believed that even a simple exercise routine could teach us virtuous life skills, such as perseverance, self-improvement, discipline, overcoming challenges, and developing self-confidence. We understood that exercising these self-mastery skills was more important than external recognition to get. Despite what the media might have us believe, the Stoics back in knew that striving for a perfect body just to show off rarely leads to true happiness. We often avoid our workout session with excuses like, I'm too tired. I have an important meeting tomorrow and I don't want to be in pain or I'm so stressed at work that I can't even do it. I don't think about exercising, although many of us do for various reasons. Avoid exercise. It has incredible benefits for physical and mental health and we should not completely ignore it as part of our routine. Any form of exercise, whether it's exercising or going to the gym, is beneficial because it releases a flood of feel-good chemicals in the brain known as endorphins. These reduce stress levels and improve mood. Exercising at night can even help you fall asleep faster, leaving you feeling refreshed and ready for the next day. You can also incorporate the concept of a brisk evening walk to clear your head and breathe as you walk. Observe the environment around you. Let your mind go. From the thoughtful thoughts of the day to observing the night sky below the as you walk and gently move your body and appreciating the beauty of nature around you will help you clear your head after a busy day and prepare for a good night's sleep. Number three, prepare for the morning. Marcus Aurelius said in that, do not delay your actions. Marcus Aurelius strongly advocated the importance of getting up early every morning. He did this to establish a morning routine aimed at maximizing every moment of life so that sleep was seen as a restorative experience in it was not a time to give in to laziness. A morning routine was essential for Aurelius in, but part of this morning routine began even before morning, when he prepared for the next day in the evening before the Stoics. They often prepared for a new by spending time in the morning rehearsing their day, thinking about what they wanted to accomplish that day, preparing for various possible outcomes, and being aware that such reflections were practiced by many Stoics in the morning, and also on evening too. To start, you can prepare the night before to make waking up easier. This could mean picking out clothes for the next day, preparing your bag for work, or keeping a clear morning routine. Think of it as a checklist of actions to take without having to use your brain to think about what to decide, because the decision was already made the night before. Remember, the more decisions you make throughout the day, the less efficient they become. Make space in your mind for small decisions like what to wear. Not only is this good for your health, but it also makes waking up a more pleasant experience. Preparing for the next day in your evening routine will not only help you with your morning routine, but it can also reduce anxiety about the tasks ahead for you when you wake up. If you like this video, be sure to check out our Stoicism playlist. For more videos to help you find success and happiness with ancient philosophical wisdom, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel will help you. We thank you very much. Number four, spending time with family. Marcus Aurelius tells us that those who live longer and those who die soon lose the same for the present is the only thing they can let go of, because that is all you have what you have and what you don't have. For Marcus Aurelius in the end of the day was time to spend with family. He loved his children and his wife very much. Although he was very important, famous and busy, he never neglected them even in the afternoons in. He often stroked and kissed them, his children, and silently told himself not to hurry. This could be the last time you do that. I'm not sure if either of them will survive the night he made love to her upside down appreciating what was right in front of her eyes, what really mattered most too, 
something in his life, and then wished them good night. In he did this repeatedly until he was lucky enough to live. Stoics use contemplation of death as a method to remember the transience of life. A famous nurse in Australia dedicated her life to caring for terminally ill patients in who said one of the most common regrets of those dying is the desire to have spent more time with family, their patients often regretted, missing their children's youth and not being there for their spouses due to the demands of modern life. Families only spend more than half an hour of quality time together during the week, and even when families have the opportunity have to get together, Many parents report that they spend this time quietly in front of the television because they are busy, reading books, playing computer games, or simply being too tired to talk like the Stoics. When we regularly think about our own death and remind ourselves that neither we nor our children will one day wake up to enjoy the beauty of our lives, start to live, do. Some changes to spend more time with family and tell our children or family members that we love them often. Family time is an important factor in building strong love bonds and relationships between family members. Spending time with family helps overcome challenges, creates a sense of security, builds family values and inspires self-confidence in children. Number five, review your day. According to Marcus Aurelius, there is nothing capable of expanding the mind more than the ability to systematically and truthfully investigate everything that appears in the observations of your life. The Stoics believe that the two best times to reflect are in the morning and in the evening. Preparing for the coming day by recording your thoughts in a morning journal and reviewing the day that has passed Marcus Aurelius wrote his reflections with the intention of reviewing daily life and his own thoughts to achieve personal clarity. He always carefully monitored his daily actions and choices. The Stoics emphasize the importance of being conscious of one's own actions and highlight the importance of spending time at the end of each day to review what has happened as a way to become more overall mindful. Stoics call this attention a kind of mindfulness that brings self-awareness to one's actions and checks whether they align with one's higher self. The Stoics compare this kind of daily reflection to presenting a case in court you recall and judge your day by examining your daily actions and choices and then systematically review them. This is not intended to be a judgmental practice but a compassionate examination that will guide you to make better decisions in the future. You can incorporate this type of daily review into your evening routine by spending time before bed to recall the day that has passed, review each moment of the day from when you woke up to the current time, reflect on the choices and actions you have made, what have you done well today, what emotions have you experienced? What part of your day brought discomfort? What can you learn from what happened today? What did you not accomplish today that you wish to? Daily reflection plays an important role in Stoic philosophy. It helps us prepare for the next day by recording what we wish to accomplish today. They are also crucial for assessing whether our daily actions align with the person we truly want to become. For example, when you sit back and analyze your day, you might reassess a specific event. Suppose it was a tense conversation with the coffee barista in the morning due to an unfortunate misunderstanding. You realize that this incident disrupted your mood, sowing feelings of discomfort and irritability for the rest of the morning. Instead of letting it dictate, you ask yourself how much time you spent pondering it and assessing its impact on your emotions, you consider how you might have handled the situation differently or realize that in hindsight, the incident was actually not important compared to other events in your day. This helps you become aware that in the future, when faced with a similar situation, you will remain calm and handle it more confidently. Taking time in the evening to reflect on events like this 
is an indispensable part of practicing Stoicism, helping you learn from experience and live a more conscious and proactive life. Before we proceed, I want to thank all of you for joining us seeking knowledge and renouncing ignorance. Renouncing ignorance is the best thing a human can do, and you have accomplished it. Number six, reflect on your inherent wisdom in the words of Marcus Aurelius Mastery in reading and writing demands a master life demands much more. A person considered wise is someone experienced in a specific field and respected for their wisdom, judgment and expertise. For many, this person is a role model to emulate Stoics, spend time reflecting on their wise ones and whether their actions align with those wise ones. Marcus Aurelius regarded his wise one as Zeno, the founder of Stoic philosophy and would often ask himself, what would Zeno do? Reflecting on basic wisdom should be a nightly moment where you reflect on your day or who you are and ask yourself, what would your role model do your role? Model could be someone you know or just the concept of an ideal person. Having a clear definition of this person is important so you can reflect on whether your actions align with your role model as part of your evening routine. Take a few minute minutes to recall your role model and ask yourself, have you acted as your role model would? What can you improve tomorrow to make your life more in line with your role model? What traits of your role model did you recognize in yourself today? Adding a few minutes to your evening routine to reflect on the situations you experience today and whether you reacted as you believe your role model would can enhance your awareness of tomorrow's choices and make you a better person, the kind of person you deeply admire. Number seven, embrace a higher perspective according to Marcus Aurelius. Consider problems in their entirety, where you occupy the smallest part in time, comprehensively, where only a brief and fleeting moment is assigned to you, and your works within the designs of destiny are truly minuscule. Marcus Aurelius advises us to reflect on life from a cosmic perspective, also known as a view from above. A view from above means applying an expanded perspective to your life and seeing yourself and your day as if observing from a third-person point of view to remove personal emotions and worries. It is known that in the evenings, Alias reflected on his life from the universe's perspective to overcome his narrow, personal viewpoint in today's world. There is much distraction every time we step out of the house. We are bombarded by advertisements, news, opinions and distractions. When we are not at work or with family, we are on our phones, listening to the radio, watching TV or using a computer. All of this leads to mental exhaustion. It is hard to find space to think and breathe. Our attention is captured by apps, games, videos and TV shows. Our attention is often directed towards other things, making it hard to address our problems, worries, stress and commitments to support this. The Stoic principle, exercise of adopting a higher perspective, can be used to lessen the burden of our problems. As it shifts our perspective to a level above ourselves, you can start by spending some quiet time in the evening to observe the things around you, your body, your home, and the people you live with. Start thinking about what they might feel, how you relate to them, the issues, hopes, and fears they might have. Then expand your view to see your own city and how all the people living around you have unique lives that you know nothing about. They have hopes, dreams and fears just like you. Continue expanding your perspective to see your country and then even further to encompass the entire perspective of the whole planet. Consider all the people on the earth, all our lives spreading across nations, social strata races and cultures. Think about the challenges that some less fortunate are facing keep expanding out to the solar system, the universe and the entirety of existence when we observe ourselves from above. We realize that we are not separate individuals, unconnected to the things around us, but part of a greater whole, a participant in everything around us.
Seeing ourselves from the outside helps us to see ourselves and our concerns more objectively. When we detach ourselves from the worries, fears and problems we face, we can see them more clearly with less emotion and have a better chance to understand their causes and solutions. Putting problems into context becomes easier if you feel upset because someone has insulted you. Try this exercise. Overcoming the emotional obstacles we face becomes easier when we put everything into perspective. Small arguments and disagreements seem insignificant compared to other issues. Many of our problems may dissolve when we compare them with those of others or with the vastness of space. Number 8. Give yourself a moment of tranquility. Remember that a happy life is often the result of a peaceful mind and not the result of abundant possessions. Dim the light to create a calm atmosphere. Lie down to relax the body and close your eyes to calm the storm of thoughts. In these moments of calm, clarity blooms when you are calm and willing to reflect on the practices of Marco. Elio admonished himself to discard any remaining thoughts that clouded his judgment. He wrote a powerful reminder, reject your sense of hurt and the wound itself will disappear. This perception runs deep. Our complaints often disappear when our perception changes. You possess the everlasting option to preserve your judgment, not to be influenced by the turbulence of opinions. There is rarely the need to upset your soul or allow it to be disturbed by events beyond your control, the externalities of life that are not in our direct control. Do not demand our judgment or benefit from our contempt or praise. Staying away from such judgments means maintaining your true inner peace. Tranquility is not simply the absence of noise or conflict. It is the presence of order in the mind. It's about aligning your thoughts with your actions and ensuring that your internal governance prevails over your external circumstances. Marcus Aurelius believed in that mastery of one's own rule is the prerequisite for the cultivation of peace, a peace that does not depend on external factors, but is evidence of the strength and order of one's inner world. Adopt this practice daily and let the philosophy of Stoicism guide you to a life of simplicity, virtue and tranquility. Let these moments of introspection be the threads that strengthen and embellish your existence. Number nine. Prepare your mind and body for sleep. Allow yourself to rest. Thank your body for granting you the privilege of not only moving, but also resting and finding peace at the end of the day. Marco Aurelius himself remarked that one can find a place of rest that is more peaceful and calm than any other place in the soul. When you find your mind wandering about what awaits you tomorrow, or how you will start the new day, we ask you to remember the following words from Marcus Elio. When you get up in the morning, tell yourself that the people who I will meet today will be curious, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and certainly they are like that because they do not know how to distinguish good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and I have recognized that the evildoer has a nature related to mine, not of the same blood or birth, but of the same spirit, and that he is a part. The divine possesses these, and therefore none of them can harm me, no one can burden me. In my ugliness, I can't even be angry with my relatives or hate them. We were born to work together like feet, hands and eyes, like the two rows of upper and lower teeth to hinder each other. It's not natural when you're angry with someone, Give them your back to your, that's something unnatural. Number 10. Take the time today to create your tomorrow. Open your diary and let your thoughts wander. Outline the goals, the peaks you long for, what you want from a new day, what achievements you want to reap when night falls, as soon as you already, you yourself, are. Once you have drawn the picture of tomorrow, remember to add a few lines of encouraging words that will embrace your soul like the warm light of the sun. 
If you feel insecure, do not hesitate to question yourself and look within yourself for the precious virtues that will be the key. To open the door to success, if you decide not to write, try to spend at least an hour or just ten minutes on pages of philosophy to cleanse your soul and gain strength. As Marcus Aurelius ruled his empire, he faced many contradictions and challenges. He constantly struggled to be a diligent disciple, describing in his meditations how to control confused thoughts and deep pain. A truth that always surprised him, and that he wanted to share, is that we love ourselves more than anyone else, but we also care a lot about other people's opinions about us instead of listening to our inner voice stated that if someone could point out a flaw in his thinking or actions, he would not hesitate to change because he is looking for the truth, and that truth does not harm anyone. Harm only occurs when we stubbornly believe in illusions and ignorance hold on to ourselves. Starting the journey to a more fulfilling life requires not only dedication, but also a comprehensive nightly routine while ten things you should do every night provides a solid foundation for self-care. And preparing for the next day, discover additional activities worth considering that can improve your health. Adopting additional practices can significantly contribute to personal growth and daily recovery. Let's explore five equally important habits that can be easily integrated into your evening ritual to ensure a holistic approach to managing your night habit. Number one, everything should be consumed in moderation, excess should be restrained. This ancient philosophy urges us to practice self-control in every aspect of our lives, whether facing the temptations of delicious food, alcoholic beverages, or any form of pleasure. Threatening to disturb inner peace, the key is to exercise willpower in this era of constant connectivity. Our minds are often often engulfed by an unending flow of notifications, leaving unanswered messages and a barrage of emails demanding attention. However, it is crucial that we do not let these digital intrusions cloud our clarity of thought or disrupt the serenity of meditation moments in these moments, the Sanji advice of Marcus Aurelius, rings an usually true reminding us that peace is not beyond reach you, you have the right to retreat into yourself, whenever you choose. This strong affirmation inspires us to seek refuge within the fortress of our own minds, to find comfort in the quiet of self-awareness. By doing so, we harness the power to maintain calm amidst the chaos of the outside world, protecting the fortress of tranquility against the storms of everyday life. Habit number two. Forgiveness is a profound action that allows us to recognize the privilege and gift of life with both happiness and challenges each morning brings the precious gift of life itself. As we go through the day, we can easily get caught up in worries and complexities. However, forgiveness reminds us of our humanity, urging us to let go of the burdens of anxiety throughout the day. In this act of forgiveness, we not only repair relationships with others, but also so with ourselves. It is a powerful act of self-awareness, as even Marcus Aurelius wrote today. I escaped anxiety, or better yet, I discarded it because it was within me. In my own perceptions, these words inspire us to look within for comfort and strength, realizing that our inner state holds the key to peace, regardless of what happens in the external world. We can choose to remain steadfast, like a precious gem preserving color and patience within the ability to forgive becomes a sign of hope, reminding us that when we embrace forgiveness, we unlock the true essence of humanity within us. Habit number three, embrace the gift of gratitude today. The painting of today is crafted with countless colors from the challenging hues that test our patience to the bright strokes of joy that warm 
Our hearts hidden within this canvas are priceless threads of lessons waiting to be woven into the fabric of our lives as we stand on the threshold of this present moment. Make a conscious choice. Choose what serves us. Best leaving behind the burdens of pain, the shadows of fear, the hesitation that impedes us and the doubts that hold us back. Imagine these burdens fading away like ancient legends, gradually fading into the river of time. You are here in this moment, endowed with the impressive power of choice. Choose the freedom from pain and let gratitude be your guiding light. Be grateful not only for the beauty of life itself, but also for the profound lessons it imparts. Life is a patient teacher, always ready to bestow its wisdom. Upon us reflect on the symphony of experiences that have walked on your path today. Every note, whether sweet or somber, contributes to the grand orchestration of your life. Let your gratitude be a crystal beacon illuminating your journey. Imagine yourself as a stargazer, casting your gaze upon the cosmic tapestry of the night sky. Look at the constellations, the storytellers of old, and envision yourself dancing alongside them, a part of the universe's cosmic ballet. In this moment, you are the sovereign of your destiny, and the universe is your canvas. It paints your aspirations with the hues of determination and purpose. Embrace the challenges, knowing they are stepping stones to your growth. Embrace the blessings, cherishing them as signs of grace, Embrace the lessons, for they are the compass guiding you to your true self. Today is your masterpiece in the making, and you are the artist. Be grateful, be free, and govern your life with the wisdom of the stars. Habit number four. Let go of worries and relax. Release all tension, fears, anxieties, or regrets from today. Be in a peaceful state of mind, knowing that the day has come to an end. And you have persevered. You've done enough for today. It's time to seek tranquility and gather energy for tomorrow. Take a moment to reflect on the challenges you face through the day and acknowledge your strength in overcoming them. Marcus Aurelius once said, If you are disturbed by something external, it's not the thing itself that troubles you, but your judgment of it, and you have the power to revoke it at any moment. Embrace the idea that... Your perspective shapes your reality and choose to view the world through a lens of peace. Consider that the soul takes on the hues of its thoughts. Let your mind shine with positivity, determination and hope. Imagine a painting filled with the bright colors of your dreams and aspirations. Dominate your intellect and emotions because within you there is the power to create a life filled with peace and unwavering determination. Tonight, let go of your burdens and welcome the tranquility of the night. Tomorrow is a blank canvas waiting for you to paint it with the colors of possibility. As you rest, allow your soul to find comfort and wake up with renewed strength to face the journey ahead. Habit number five, moving forward with acceptance in the journey of life. There are moments when dissatisfaction creeps in and you find yourself reflecting on the day's events with a sense of regret. It's entirely natural to wish that some things had unfolded differently, but here's the truth. You cannot change the past. However, console yourself by knowing that any barriers or challenges standing before you won't last forever. Life is a tapestry of moments, and each moment is woven into the fabric of your destiny. Marcus Aurelius shared nearly two millennia ago, accept whatever comes to you as part of the thread of your own fate. These words still resonate today, reminding us to embrace the present. By finding peace and acceptance in the present, you equip yourself with the strength and wisdom to face tomorrow's challenges. Your journey is unique and every experience, whether joyful or difficult, adds depth and and richness to the beautiful tapestry of your life, so steer your destiny with acceptance and let it lead you to a brighter future. Remember that these principles are also what Marcus Aurelius pursued. 
They are not fix-fixed by Stoics who favor flexibility and adaptability. Adjust this habit to fit your needs and preferences, and choose only the parts that truly resonate with you. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, the goal is to seek within yourself and in your thoughts to end the day successfully. If you want steps to improve your more habits or seek greater wisdom, just as Marcus Aurelius did, check out our video on morning habits in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to hearing your feedback in 10 things you should do every night. What impressed you? The most pleaser share in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with friends who might benefit from it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, we hope you'll continue to follow us and learn and grow together.